Hello. In the last video, we began to build out our PDR uh, performance development review monitoring list, and we began to populate it with some data, and we looked at how to how to populate it. We came up with a few problems. One of the problems initially was the date and the date format. Currently, this date format is in um, the, the USA date format and we, and we may need to change that depending on who and where this list is being shared with. So in order to change the date format for this site and potentially for the whole collection you'd need to be uh, certainly um, a, a collection owner, site owner. And we go up to the cog here and we're going to go into site settings. So dependent on the type of site and the site type of collection, you'll have different uh, options available to you here. And what we're looking for under here, site administration, is the regional settings option. And here you'll notice that the locale is set to English United States. And if we simply change that to English United Kingdom, and we now save that, We go back to our list, notice now that the date format has changed into a UK format. So if we go back here just very quickly, you'll notice that there are a variety of other options including things like time zone uh, that we can, we can change and there are also things like the Gregorian calendar, the how it sorts and here what makes up the working week and the time format. So there are a whole host of options that affect not just custom lists, but a, a number of the applications available within, within your SharePoint site. And this will be limited to this site. And if it's the top site and it's hierarchical, then it may also impact on other sites that are lower down in the hierarchy, depending on the architecture of, uh, of the setup of SharePoint. So that solves our date issue here and now whenever we create any new date columns and enter any dates in this particular site, it's going to come out in this format. So the next issue was we wanted to use a lookup field to uh, enable us to quickly and easily bring over data to stop us constantly having to repeat it. And there is an added benefit, which is simply the fact that I don't have to type that information in and therefore I can't make mistakes so we're controlling the, the, the data that's being entered. So what we're going to need to do in order to use a lookup field is we're going to need to create a new list. So I'm going to come in here create a new list and we're going to call this employee title look up. Now I always like to call my look up lists. Uh, I like to add add the word look up to them because it gives some context to what I'm actually looking at. And here we're just going to simply add some new titles using the grid view. So we're going to add these three titles here and then we're going to stop editing. Now remember we're in this, this lookup list. Now if we go back here and we go to list and we create a new column called employee title. And we're going to add the lookup and we're going to now we get these different options because we've selected the lookup field here first thing we need to do is select the list that we want to pull the data from so we've just created this list so we select this list 
and then what we need to do is we need to tell it which column we need to pull in. So we're going to pull in the title column because that is the default column that the that this list was created with and that's the column that I put that data in. And then we're going to keep this simple at this moment in time and just create that. So we get this new column here. So if we now switch over and edit this, what we should get as we flick through these is this drop down option and this is pulling that data from the other list into this list. So if I now wish to add more data I can simply drop over to this new lookup. I can let's edit it. Let's add a new title. Stop editing. And let's go back to our previous list. And what we'll find here is that new item is available. And we can quickly with reason populate this data and what I'm trying to show you here is the fact that the content from the the list that we just populated because we've set that up this is good because as things go wrong these are the sort of things that are going to happen to you as you as you build out these solutions and it's great that, that they're happening now so that we can deal with them and I can show you how to deal with them so so the the idea behind that was that we can change this list in the lookup field and that information will be brought over and this is a very simplified version just to get the concept uh, so that you understand that and you can use it for a whole host of other things for instance you might have document types or you might have employee um, uh, um, ID numbers or you might have uh, sales um, um, reference numbers or you might have um, clients or you might have suppliers where you want to put the name in once and you just want to be able to bring that data into other lists and, and pull that across and this reduces down hugely errors that can occur and then I might I might have workflows firing off this data and automation and if it's not spelled correctly or it's got the wrong characters it's not going to work because the variables won't be correct when the, the workflows fire so this resolves all of those problems so now we have this problem that we've we've got this existing column here and we really don't need it any longer so in, in this particular scenario we can just remove this column so we can just make it disappear or we complete or we can completely remove it so if we go to list we go to list settings uh, in this scenario we can't completely remove it because it is the title this is a, sp a specific problem that because the title is the is part of the default content type you can't actually remove it without causing a great deal of trouble later and, and I don't particularly want to go into the detail of what those problems will be later on but all I can say suffice to say at this stage because we've set this up with this title whatever you do do not remove this then from uh, from this content type at, at this moment in time without dealing with the content type um, at a at a more uh, uh, at a at a higher level in terms of the collections because it will impact all of your content types for every list um, and anything that the, that you deploy later on that involves this content type you you will, it will cause you a great deal of trouble. So the way we're going to get around this problem is we're going to go back. And what we will do is we will just drop into this list and modify the view. 
and in this scenario we'll just remove it so therefore it's no longer available and then we can just move that if we go back into list and we modify this view and we can then remove this employee part to up to number one click OK now that solves our initial problem and brings this back so that when we edit this information here in a quick view we can simply populate that data so hopefully that has been helpful and in the next video we'll, we'll take this uh, further thank you very much for watching